Hi, you are watching Kolsky Drones. Welcome back. Today I'm going to have a comparison video between the Flysky Nirvana and the X Lite. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today I want to do a quick comparison between the X Lite and the Nirvana. This is very much not saying one's better than the other, but maybe which one you'd rather have if you're getting into it. If you're already at FR Sky Fly, I can't see you buying one of these because you're not going to want to swap all your receivers over to Fly Sky and vice versa. But this is what I think uh, the opinion of both of them. I like them both, but so you get no case with the Nirvana, you get the case with the X Lite. And the case with the X Lite is nice to be honest. Okay. So the huge size comparison straight away. Look at the difference in size. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Obviously this is on the Fly Sky protocol. Both run open TX and both got the virtual same version. But so let me just go into some negatives before we start. I love this transmitter. I absolutely love it, do not get me wrong. This touchscreen is absolutely appalling. To type a name of a model on here is virtually impossible. The space bar on the screen, you have to hit above it, you have to hit above the number button to get that to work. I just do not like the touch screen. So much so, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, this is a Turner GI 10S, or you can buy the Fly Sky version. This has been out four or five years, I must have bought it ago. It's got a touch screen. The touch screen on this, Oh, it's actually gone flat. The touch screen on this is better than the touch screen on that. It's easier to use. In fact, you can see where they've got some of the things from, because it does switch as similar kind of locations. The screen's fairly similar. This is just more your standard transmitter side. I don't I particularly like this transmitter. I don't think the gimbals are awful on it. I, I've never, I've hardly used the thing, to be honest. I'm not a big fan. But... They could have done a better job on this screen. Now maybe it's not the screen, maybe it's the software on this. So hopefully with firmware updates it's going to get better. Welcome the FR Sky, the t screen is tiny. But you know the screen's going to be tiny because of the size of the transmitter. Warning. Switch warning. Now, so which one do you prefer to fly on? I first fly on this. And that's probably because of the stick travel. On this one, I have to knock the rates down, and I've had to keep knocking them down. I've got them to a level now, and I fly on about 83%, I find, is right. But, that's because these sticks don't travel enough. If you extend them, you still don't get the same feel. Now, that's me. I'm not the best flyer in the world, I don't pretend to be. And I, I presume a lot of people out there have got absolutely fine with it, but that's what I've found with this set. I love the form factor, and I love everything about this one. This... It comes in at less than this, I think, you probably, with batteries in a charge, it's probably going to cost you about 120, maybe a bit less. This with a battery in the charge is going to, probably going to cost you 155, 160. Right, the build quality on this thing is second to none. Look at the, if you look at the way it's joined and all the joins are perfect, everything fits exactly as it should fit. They've gone to town on getting this thing build quality fantastic, because it really is. This is the FR Sky. The joints are nowhere near as good. That done. If you look at the angle, that's that. And this has happened on both my sticks. <laughs> on both, sorry, on both um, battery holders. And that's simply from holding it in its case. When it goes in the case, it rubs and it takes it off. It's not a major concern. It doesn't bother me. But it's just something. Maybe you should have made the case a little bit bigger. But from setting up, I prefer setting it up to this on this one because I haven't got. Maybe I will get used to the touch screen. When the touch screen improves, it might be a better way to set up. At the minute, I don't like it because I think everything's right on the screen and I like the way you do it. And it would be a lot quicker because you can just browse through your menus dead quick. But some of the times when you press the button, it's not responsive enough. Putting a model name in is an absolute nightmare. So I've now flown a couple of models on this thing. And in my opinion, this is better to fly with than this. Maybe because of the stick resolution, or maybe because this is just a far, maybe it's a gimbal, I don't know. But this thing is very, very nice to fly. With this one, I still find myself maybe sometimes thinking, oh, I'm going to use my normal Tavanis. <coughs> Excuse me. With this, 
I don't feel like I want to go from that to this, if you understand what I mean. I still think that to master my normal Tavanis, I've got an uh, X9D plus SE, and I was going to sell it, and at the minute, I don't want to because I can't make my mind up whether this will be my go-to transmitter for FR Sky. And it's simply because of the fact of the gimbal uh, of this, the way it probably hasn't got enough movement for me. And that's about it. But it doesn't feel the same to fly. It doesn't feel as good in your hand. This one feels downright incredible. I can't, I can't describe enough how easy this makes flying. It's much easier to fly. It's much easier to... It's much smoother in operation. Things that I've not been... So, I've got a King Kong 110. I would not fly the King Kong 110 indoors with this. With this, it's a breeze. Because you seem to have better control. Again, might be mine. Might be just me. For, for value for money, I think you're getting what you pay for. This is about the right price, and so is this, because of the build quality on this one and the build quality on this one. The touchscreen will be a great thing if it works properly and when they get it fixed, but at the minute, it's a bit buggy. They both run on the same type of battery system, although this one's got bigger batteries, 18650s, 18650s, and they both have a very modern form factor. This is definitely going to appeal more to some people because it weighs a lot less than this. This is a heavy transmitter, I must warn you of that. So, all I wanted to do was give a quick overview of which ones I think is best. If you buy either one, you're not going to be disappointed. And if you're starting out in the hobby, is it a bit expensive? Well, in my opinion, no. I've been used to flying for Tab and JR for years. A Fataba set's gonna a good Fataba set it's gonna cost you best part of four or five hundred pounds, same with JR. 160 and 120 aren't that bad a price. Alright, you can buy better you can buy budget ones, but if you're determined to stay into the hobby and that's what you want to do, these are probably gonna be ideal solutions for you. Either one, FR Sky or Fly Sky. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So like I said, either one of these is gonna be a good option for you. As I say, it's down to your preference, it's down to your preference of what you want to fly, fly sky or FR sky. I will tell you, most there's more things you're going to be able to get available, especially if you're buying something used, that are going to be compatible with this, than this. You've also got the problem with this, though, if you're buying an EU LBT one, which is what this is, without firmware flashing this, it isn't going to work on a lot of the stuff you buy from Banggood and stuff, because it doesn't have EU in it. You have to to a firmware flash on this to make it non-EU. So that's another thing to look out for where this probably is going to, everything I've tried that I own that's fly sky has bound to it. That's it, I just wanted to give you a quick overview. I'm not saying one's better than the other, I'm saying they're both great transmitters. You'll have, you won't be disappointed either one you buy. You're not going to buy this and say, oh no, I wish I'd have bought that one. You're not going to do that because you're going to be happy with either one you buy because they're both really nice transmitters. If you come from an FR Sky background, I'd be interested in the comments below what you think of this compared to the X9D or even the um, Q7. What you think of this? Have you got used to it yet? Because I'm struggling a little bit with it. So, thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And don't forget, get plenty of flying. Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.